Hey guys, welcome to today's video. The topic of our discussion today is placement of monitor or placement of studio speaker. However you understand it, they are the same thing. Some people call it studio monitors, some people call it studio speakers. Well, however you understand it, that goes down well with you. Okay, because whenever well, some people, when they hear studio monitors, the next thing they think is probably the big screen here or whatever screen you are using for a recording or for your production. Well, that is monitor as well. But then you could just call it a screen. Okay. But then, or a display screen. But when you hear of studio monitor, think of speaker. Okay. For those of you who call it, who call it studio speaker. Okay. So you can call it studio monitor. Actually, I feel um, studio monitor is actually a professional approach, okay, to calling these things. Well, well, we are not talking about the names now, okay. So what we are simply talking about here today is the placement, and this request came from somebody, okay, and the person asks, okay, Mister Pisam, how do we place studio speaker or how do we place studio monitors? Um, this thing is actually very important. So one thing I wanted to understand is that, um how you place your studio monitors could actually make or my or mix it's very important it is that important so um i want you guys to pay close attention to this okay so um think of frequency right so this will help you before we go into other things because I definitely how to get to even place your studio monitor is already prescribed you will see the in fact let me even talk about this if you check if you have if you buy your studio monitor brand new and it comes in a carton right in that carton you will see a manual in that manual you will see a guidance on how you get to place your studio monitor okay but then probably you buy it pre-owned you got it from somebody well um this is the thing think of a frequency right or think of frequency generally okay so frequency starts from low to high all right so from lower frequency to high frequency or higher frequency rather that is how the studio monitor is designed well there are different types of monitors but we are simply going to talk about just the normal pairs right that people buy and use okay now um for instance, I will use mine as an example. I'm using a module BX8, okay? And if you look at how this monitor is designed, okay, you could see that from lower frequency, which has the bigger um, part of the speaker, okay, then to the higher frequency, which has the smaller part of the speaker. Let me point to it so that you can see. So if you look at that, the lower frequency gives you the privilege to hear and listen and feel sounds or frequencies from the lower range all right why the higher frequency gives you the opportunity to get to hear um, frequency from the higher range so how you place it is very important because it can it could actually misguide you on how you mix if you don't place it the right way okay so um for instance, I see some people place their studio monitor straight, just straight. Let's assume this is the mix engineer here, or this is the producer here. Okay, so um, you see that they will place the studio monitor in such a way that it will just be straight and facing this side and this side. So going both way. I feel that is actually a very... Well, there is nothing like very wrong. What is wrong is wrong. Well, I feel like that's a wrong way to get to place a studio monitor. It's actually a wrong way. So you don't place a studio monitor that it does not give you the whole um, feel, the whole um, ownership of getting to hear your mix. So you have to place it in such a way. Now, if you look at my monitors, if you see the way I place them, they are slanted, right? They are not straight. I place them in such a way that they face me. I am the mix engineer. Okay, so whatever I am mixing, I need to hear them. And I need, and I need to hear them clearly. And I need to hear them in, like, I don't need to miss out of any sound or any frequency. 
Okay, so I have to place them in such a way that they face me. Okay, so you don't place your studio monitor straight that it just face the wall there and face the wall there. You have to place them in such a way that they bend in one way or the other to face you. So instead of you placing your monitor like this, it is advisable that you place it like this. All right, so the monitors, they face you in person. Okay, you are the mix engineer so that you get to hear everything in detail. Okay, so that is one. And I've seen some other persons who have actually um, placed their monitor in such a way that their monitor will be sleeping. So like the bed form. So instead of their monitor standing, the monitor is lying down. So instead of the high frequency to be up and the lower frequency to be down, they place it in such a way that high frequency is far away from the low frequency like this that is making a sleep a bed form okay um i feel that is another wrong way because like i said earlier how you place your monitors has a whole lot to do with your mix all right so when placing your monitor think of the entire mix you're about to do or how you want your job to sound Okay, and you could also you could also look up tutorials. You go you could also see what professionals are doing online as well. How do they place their monitors? Okay, so this is also very important. So you don't place your monitor to sleep, and you don't place it straight. The monitors they have to face you because you are the engineer that will determine how each frequency in your mix should sound. So you need to hear everything in detail to make sure that everything is sounding the right way. All right. So remember one. You don't place your monitor to face um, straight. Two, you don't place your monitor to be sleeping in bed form. Okay, you have to place them in such a way that they are curved to make sure that they get to you. You need to hear all the sounds in detail. All right. So I I don't know if this has been of help to the person who requested uh, this video, and I don't know if it has been of help to you guys as well. Well. I know you may have some other questions like what about other monitors I've seen people use. Well, let, let's just tag this one as part one. All right. So this is studio monitor placement part one. Okay. So probably when maybe I should hear the other question about studio monitors. Okay. Uh, the placement of studio monitors. Then we can get to talk about, okay, um, what kind of monitor am i using and how should it be placed all right so guys if this has been of help to you kindly like our videos and subscribe to our channels follow us as well all right if you are coming across our page for the first time our channel for the first time just ensure you subscribe and follow us all right like our videos and also share all right so guys i look forward to seeing you in our next video this is Sam. love you guys